So exciting news, I just got the brake test results back from our obsession on uh, the Kern Master splice that I've been doing. Now I did do in the first like rendition of this splice that I did, I uh, did it in the all polyester version of uh, Kern Master and you can uh, find that video on my channel as well. But uh, for this round I did a uh, regular nylon core uh, Kern Master and did the uh, core only splice in it and sent in three samples to have tested so you know kind of establish some consistency. All the brake test results looked about exactly the same. This is the one uh, sample that I did get back and it passed. This superseded the uh, 5400 pounds that is required by ANC standards for uh, rope strengths and this one broke at 6,300 pounds, which is 90% of its MBS, which that is pretty good. The uh, rope MBS is 7,100 pounds, just so you know, for the uh, nylon. It's 6,700 for the polyester, so pretty close. But uh, yeah, and even cooler, it did not break in the splice. The splice ends about here and it broke in a standing part of the rope. I'm guessing it broke right where the rope went onto the bollard because I don't see any yellow paint from the bollard whereas I can see it on other parts of the rope. Yep, yeah, so I can see some paint starting right here. So it broke just about after where it came off the bollard. So, and it was a pretty consistent pull result. It didn't, there wasn't an initial break and then fail. It was all building up and then it failed, so. That is super sweet. So this is absolutely a plausible and trustworthy splice. Now this is a uh, uh, core spliced only and also dipped in water-based polyurethane. So this, even though this stuff is usually really fluffy, this eye is like hard as a rock. You are not going to fluff or pick up this thing. So uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So I have some, uh, uh, Kern Master Bifrost on order uh, to be another short rope at work because now pretty much the only thing that's left to test of this is just longevity. I want to see how because you know this uh, core is now outside of the jacket so it is exposed to the elements and to uh, abrasion so uh, the water-based polyurethane does add a degree of durability but now that's pretty much the only thing I got to test. I just got to see if this can withstand uh, the pressures of work and not get all destroyed and fluffed up. But since this method is already used for like beeline and stuff, I think it's gonna hold up just fine. But I'm excited to try out this little endeavor worked out and I think this splice looks super clean. So if you wanna see how to do this, it's basically the same as splicing a uh, Yale beeline, but I did a little bit of a trick to make it look a little bit cleaner by tucking the uh, cover back through the uh, core eye. But yeah super sweet super stoked about this check out that prior video and uh yeah uh i wouldn't say this is a this is absolutely not a manufacturer verified splice but i have verified it for myself i'm not gonna say i've verified it for anybody else i would climb on this and i will climb on this but um you know do it for yourself test it for yourself make sure that you're uh your slash my methods work out to your liking and uh yeah it's a pretty cool uh termination i think it looks kind of fun so not a lot of ropes look like this when they're spliced so i've been working on this uh bifrost line for a little bit a nice little 70 foot short rope and it's been working really well the only issue that i have with this place so this is the one where i've uh placed the cover back over through the core so i think it makes it look a little cleaner little bit um uh the only issue i have with it is that uh sheath going through there kind of presses the splice open especially with how much uh polyurethane i put on this this is like rock solid so uh i use a uh, dmm thimble for my uh cambium saver and that's just a little bit too small i really gotta force this uh through there but otherwise it works just fine. So I am really happy with this. It has not worn too crazily for a piece of textile that wasn't designed to be outside of the core. And I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna keep climbing on it, see how long it'll last, see if it 
goes the whole season without looking too terrifying. But yeah, it's working out pretty sweet. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I think that's gonna be uh, my last splicing video for a while. I uh, don't have a whole lot of time to be splicing other Kern Mantle ropes and brake testing them quite this summer. Maybe in the winter again, I'll get back into it, but I'm just excited to try this out and see how well it works. So uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're looking forward to see more videos like this in the further future, but in the more immediate future, it'll probably be uh, mostly just uh, gear reviews and hopefully a few climbing vlogs every once in a while. I might, I haven't really thought about it that much, but maybe include some uh, of the work videos because I think, you know, everybody works differently and it's kind of fun and unique, or it's fun to see how uniquely other people work and that's how I learned to climb was watching a bunch of different people's videos, seeing different methods to rig, whether it be old school, new school, and uh, yeah, just learning all types of different things. So hopefully I'll add something like that in the future so you can share some of that fun stuff. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.